Okay, I did not think I would be making another update, but it appears as though the biggest update of all has just occurred, so now I'm gonna tell you about it. I think I killed my GPU. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is a particularly exciting video because I'm going to do something that I've wanted to do for probably the last year or so, but I've never really had the time to do it and I've never really thought there was a good enough reason to do it. And that very special something that I'm going to do is I'm going to download the program Unreal Engine 5 and I'm gonna spend 50 hours of my time trying to learn how to use it and see how far along I can come. Now I'm not gonna just sit there for 50 hours and play around with it. I'm gonna split it up into three separate projects. The first project is how far along I can come after one hour of using Unreal Engine. The second is 10 hours and then the third project would be 39 hours. Now the credit for this video goes to the channel NerdForge. She did the same type of thing about with the program Blender and I'm gonna link her video down below so that you can check her out and watch that video as well. That being said, let's hop into the video, download Unreal Engine 5 and let's get started. I have got Unreal Engine 5 downloaded and ready to go behind me on the screen. So, the official timer for my one hour project starts right now. Okay, the first hour is done. It went surprisingly better than I thought it would. It still doesn't look amazing. Here's the designs that I basically came up with. I developed basically a giant building that has a first set of stairs that goes to like a landing platform, then a second set of stairs that goes to this box that's somehow supported by four tiny little cylinders, and then there's a giant big ball on top. Now it's a very basic with just boxes, stairs, cylinders, and a ball. All this other stuff, this water, the skyline in the background, the people walking around, the platform here, this was all just a setting that I just pre-selected. It was all there beforehand. But for one hour for my very first go at Unreal Engine, I'm reasonably happy with it. Okay, so that is the very first project. That is my one hour. That's the hardest part, just getting started. Done. But what that leads us to is now project number two. Now at this point, originally for project one, I was just kind of seeing what on earth it really was and seeing how to even work it. With the second project, I want to have a little bit more of a design in mind. So I like fantasy quite a bit. I like magic and wizards and stuff. So what I'm going to try to do is create some form of maybe like a castle of some fantasy landscape sort of. And on this time around, I want to concentrate a little bit more. Obviously, I do like the construction of the building, but I want to try to create some kind of environment too. I want to try to have like a landscape like rocks and maybe water and vegetation and things like that. But then if I do have time, I'm gonna try to develop a castle as well. So without further ado, that is the plan for project two. Let's get into it, shall we? So it's been about 40 minutes since I started. I've got nine hours and 19 minutes remaining. I'm a little bit frustrated right now. It started off going really well. So over here, I've got my design and my landscape. I still need to kind of construct it, but I, I got a landscape created, but then I'm trying to add some element of like grass or whatnot. And over on the side, it's supposed to say grass, according to the review on YouTube that I'm watching. The thing is, there's no grass there. Hello. It's a very hot minute later. So, mm, goodness, where do I even start with this? I finally figured out how to get my 
stuff that I wanted. See, here it is. I actually have a landscape. I have grass over here. I have soil stuff over here. I have more soil stuff over here. But the point is, is that I finally did figure out how to get the grass and everything in there. And I almost didn't. I literally was almost at the point where I was like, I don't think I can make this video because I can't figure out how to get this stuff in there. And I was like, I'll try again tomorrow, but I don't think this is gonna happen. This project was just my screw around thing. I'm not actually gonna use this. I'm now gonna start fresh. So I'm starting fresh with six and a half hours remaining. Now I'm not gonna develop an entire castle with lots of landscape around it and maybe like bridges and all that stuff. I'm not gonna be able to develop that in six and a half hours. So I'm changing my plans a little bit. The castle is gonna wait and all that magnificence is gonna wait until I have my 39 hour project. This one, I'm gonna design some kind of outside setting, probably like some kind of like ancient house if I can maybe, and then some trees and shrubbery and, and see what I can develop in six and a half hours and make it look kind of like nights and cute and whatnot. But the castle is gonna be the 39 hour project. For now, I'm gonna get started on this project with the six and a half hours that I have remaining. Hello, it's me from the future. After about three hours of working on that project in Unreal Engine, I started having issues with saving. It turned out to be a completely different issue, but I thought it was Unreal Engine, so I uninstalled and reinstalled all over again. So, after doing all that, I had three hours and 30 minutes remaining of my 10 hours, and I was just starting from scratch yet again. So, let's continue the video sped up footage. My time is up. My 10 hours are done. My project is over. I have no more time left. So as you guys know, for about the first six and a half hours of my 10 hours, we're basically spent just learning how to use Unreal Engine, learning how to blend stuff, learning how to save stuff, learning just the basics of how to do stuff in Unreal Engine. And here are the results. Now it's not the most fancy thing in the world, it's definitely very basic and simple. You can see that I basically have a desert region and then a mountain region, and then sort of a field with grass area, then I have a river, and then I have a very basic settlement with a pond and a well. I put some barrels up against the building along with a ladder. There's also a cobblestone path that goes from the settlement to the desert and then also to the mountains and the river. Now in terms of landscape, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. There's a lot that I still need to learn, like I need to figure out how to kind of roughen up the landscape so it looks more realistic. Now my buildings, I'm a little bit disappointed in my buildings because this is a very basic building. It's essentially a box with four sides and then a couple other features on it. So I'd like to learn how to make buildings look much more cool and realistic. So now that the second project is done, we are on to the third and final project. I've got my one hour project done, I got my 10 hour project done, and now we are on the 39 hour project where I'm going to design a hopefully beautiful castle landscape. So without further ado, well, let's get into it. It is the end of the second day after I started my third and final project. We have 32 hours and 58 minutes remaining, so we're basically six hours into the project. And I wanna say for about the first four and a half hours, I was really frustrated because as I was trying to edit the landscape and make mountains and whatnot, Unreal Engine kept crashing on me over and over and over and over and over and over again, which was really, really frustrating. But I finally got that situated and now I'm a few hours in and I have figured out how to add grass and trees. Rather than just having a layer of grain where it looks hideous, I have beautiful trees and grass that are blowing in the wind, which looks amazing. So it's starting to sort of come together, the very beginnings of it, and I'm starting to get pretty excited about this. So that's the end of the second day and we're gonna keep on going tomorrow.
Hello! It is several days later now. I've been working on this project for the last few days. We currently have 17 hours and 11 minutes remaining, and it has gone extremely well. I have accomplished much more than I ever thought I'd be doing. It looks quite incredible, but now I have run into a bit of a hiccup. I have neared or gotten close to like, at this point I'm kind of adding on finishing touches. But the problem is, is that the project is huge. And I made the mistake when I created the project is that I didn't fully, I guess, understand the concept of how big a world was supposed to be and how you're not really supposed to blow stuff up. And so what I did was I created this humongous landscape at the very beginning, and then I just blew everything else up, all the objects, all the everything, just so that they would match that world and be the appropriate size. But what that has led to, now that I have filled out this ginormous world, is that everything is massively blown up. And that has made the size of this world huge. Huge. Not so much in terms of like, as you go through it, because it's just like a nicely sized world. But the thing is, it's a nicely sized world that is just magnified beyond belief. And that is slowing the heck out of my computer my poor baby computer, and now I'm having trouble basically going through the world. And so when I show this to you, and as I scroll through it, all of the beautiful details, because it's so big, are just being muffled down. So let me, let me just show you this for an example. Let's say right here in between these trees and um, on this grass, I just wanna add in a rock. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab my rock, and I'm gonna drag it out you would think if it's the appropriate size, it would be kind of just displayed right there. That's it down there, right there. Yeah, that thing. So if I zoom in, way in, that's my rock. To make this rock fit in this world, I have to blow it up. So let's take it and blow it up beyond all possibilities. Here it is, here is my uh, rock. That's how much I had to blow it up, even to make it somewhat fit in between the trees. And it's still too small, as you can tell. Look at that. But that is what I have done with every single object in my entire world, which has now made this system extremely slow. Here is the side of my castle. Can't even see the stone anymore. Look at that. The same thing with my grass. You can't even see the fine detail, which before was the beautiful part of this game. So I've run into a little bit of an issue there. At this point, what I want to try to do is at least make it so that I can show you guys something at the end of it that gives it the full detail and shows how amazing it truly is. This is gonna be one of the final updates. We have 12 hours and 30 minutes remaining. So the thing that I've spent the last couple hours doing today is I'm trying to figure out how to make the video shots for the actual production video that you guys will see at the end of this. And it's actually a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. I thought we would just put in a few things and film it and then it would look good. And I kind of got that part down, but the problem that I'm running into is that it doesn't export it in the right format that my Apple computer can use, which my Apple computer is gonna be the device that I'm going to be using to edit this video so that you guys can see this video. I think I have it figured out now, at least to some extent. It's a little bit of a complicated solution, but I think I've got it figured out. So at this point, now I'm going to go through, set everything up, film all the shots, make all the angles look good, and that's gonna take a few more hours. And then after that is going to be actually putting it all together and adding some soundtracks so that you guys can see the final result of what I can create with Unreal Engine 5 after 39 hours, total of 50 hours using Unreal Engine and show you what that looks like.
Okay, I did not think I would be making another update, but it appears as though the biggest update of all has just occurred, so now I'm gonna tell you about it. Um, I think I killed my GPU, is what I think maybe happened. So I, all I was doing was exporting the video for the final project. Um, not all the video, just like a little chunk of it, because I did figure out how to make it. Now, let me, let me restart that, actually, because two issues have come up. So I did figure out how to export it in a way that my Apple computer will be able to use. Now, the next thing that occurred is that as I was exporting the video, as I zoomed out, objects would not display. And I've done a bunch of research to try to figure this out, and I think this has something to do with the level of detail. But no matter what I change, no matter what I adjust, I cannot get certain objects to appear if you zoom out far enough. And then, like, the whole entire land will just disappear if I zoom out far enough. But I was just kind of continuing on, taking what videos I could of stuff, and then as I was doing it, all of a sudden, everything kind of just crashed, and it appears as though my GPU isn't working anymore. It's on, it's there, but then the other thing is this screen became huge. Everything is ginormous and magnified rather than being the appropriate size. And as you can see, there's no GPU over here. So I don't know. I, I don't think I can even open this program, let alone export a bunch of video if I don't have a GPU that's working. So we're going to have to figure that out. Yeah, I didn't think this would happen at the end. I thought this might happen towards the middle, but not the end. 15 minutes later, my computer's back up and running. Everything's back up. The graphics card is back up. For some reason, my computer decided it wanted to uninstall the graphics card driver. I don't know why, so I just had to reinstall it. So we're back up and running. Let's carry on. A few more hours to go. My time has run out. The 39 hours is run out. The final project is done. So, here it is.
And there you have it. That is what I was able to accomplish after 39 hours for a single project. And this is how far I was able to learn after spending 50 hours in Unreal Engine. Before this video, I had never used Unreal Engine before in my life. And in 50 hours, I went from my first project, which was pretty crappy, it was basically just a box, to my second project, which was a little bit better, to my third project, this latest one, which is a little bit better than the last one. I still have only scratched the surface of what there is to learn in Unreal Engine, but I am happy with where I got in the 50 hours that I devoted to learning Unreal Engine. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I quite enjoyed it, so I plan on doing more videos like this and learning more programs such as Blender and whatever else I can find along the way. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you are not already. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.